Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we're the Octobers. And in our last movie, man, Airborne was held hostage by Smog. So in this movie, I'm assuming we're gonna go try to liberate the city. So if you are new here, man, we did the whole Lord of the Rings trilogy, obviously one of the great, great films of all time. I mean, it might've been the best thing I ever seen, seriously. This movie caught us slightly off guard. We was not expecting the, I guess, childlike tone to it, but we've really grown to appreciate it actually. And I'm really excited to get into this. Let's so go. let's go. It's the font. It's the wing nut. It's the Shire remix. Yo, that's Brie. <laughs> you know Brie? The first sound. <laughs> Wouldn't it suck to have to walk through that? Yeah, but good thing he has like a hoodie poncho on. The Prince and Pony. Let's go. Where we first met Aragorn, the man, the myth, the legend. The OG. Mm -hmm. There you are. Okay. Hey, hey, let's go. They're nice to hobbits these days. Maybe not dwarves, though. <laughs> He has a good seat though, right in front of the fireplace. Do you see that? I don't approach my boy like this. I'm the friend you're on you. I should introduce myself. My name is Gandalf. I know who you are. What brings Thorin Open Shield to breathe? I received word that my father had been seen wandering the wilds near Dunmond. <laughs> I went looking, found no sign of him. He still lives. I am his dad? Yeah, his dad. Said he was wandering the woods. My father came to see you before he went missing. What did you say to him? I urged him to march upon Erebor, to destroy the dragon and take back the lonely mountain. And I would say the same to you. Take back your homeland. That dragon has sat there long enough. Sooner or later, darker minds will turn towards Erebor. They mistook me for a vagabond. They regretted that. What? One of them was carrying a message. A vagabond. His black speech. Promise a payment. Your head. Dang. You got a bounty? <clears throat> Unite the armies of the dwarves. Together you have the might and power to retake Erebor. Summon a meeting of the seven dwarf families. Demand they stand by their oaths. The seven armies swore that oath to the one who wields the king's jewel. The Arkenstone. And you don't have it. Is that why there's seven dwarves on Snow White? Because there's seven armies? What if I were to help you reclaim it? I don't know if that has any relation, but it could. I hope one army's not sleepy. Which is why we're going to need a burglar. I love yes. how like they're bringing it full circle. Mm -hmm. You guys don't know, man. I can't, can't stand me a story that don't come full circle. Well, here's the thief. <laughs> oh, he didn't see him. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he did. He saw that rock and was like... <laughs> <laughs> Azog. What's that one up to? <laughs> I don't know. That was just uh, that was just trying to look alpha right there. Quick roar. Was that a bear? <laughs> I don't know what that was. It looked like a work. This was already hitting right here. We have another problem. Did this see you? Oh yeah, work. I meant work. I'm trying to tell you there is something else out there. Like a bear. Yeah, that's what I saw. Yet, yes, but bigger, much bigger. You knew about this beast. There is a house where we might uh, take refuge. Whose house? A friend or foe? Neither. Free agent. Will help us <laughs> or Undecided voters. So what choice do we have? <laughs> we gotta go to this friend or foe's house. That looks like when you take the ball mill out in Minecraft, that field. You guys don't know. God, they're in the same woods. I'll see the yeah, boxes. How? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, this house is nice. That's how they knock when they run into it. That's a big bear. Oh, man. 
So he just pointed the sword like he was going to use it? Nah, he was ready. What is that? That is our host. His name is Bayon. White bear. Imagine that. <laughs> he's a skin changer. Sometimes he's a huge black bear. Sometimes he's a great strong man. The bear is unpredictable, but the man can be reasoned with. He is not over fond of dwarves. <laughs> Get some sleep, all of you. You'll be safe here tonight. They just took over that bear's house. It says, no, he's coming. This is Kay, baby. <laughs> Oh, that's Brother Bear. Very diplomatic. It sounds like Gollum to me. No, this sounds like the Malthus name. Malthus <laughs> What is this thing? The Necromancer? From the last movie? I don't know. Dark Shadow. Morg! Morg? Oh, he looks tough. <laughs> I bet you do. So a growl means yes. <laughs> Oh, he's like a werebear. <laughs> a werebear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Aw. That'd be awkward, though, if you're Bilbo, <laughs> to just have him walk in his front door but you're, like, pretending to be asleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's some big bees. So you are the one they call Luke and Shield. The Defiler killed most of my family. But some he enslaved. Not for work, you understand, but for sport. That's weird. There are others like you. Once there were many. Now there is only one. You need to reach the mountain. Before Dorian's day falls. Yes. Oh, I forgot about Durham's day. Who takes the elfin road? The wood elves of Mirkwood are not like their kin. They're less wise and more dangerous. These lands are crawling with orcs. You will never reach the forest alive. Oh no. So what you about to do? Turn into a bear? And they gotta call some eagles. I don't like dwarves. They're greedy. Nah, he's saying ride me. Don't, don't. But orcs I hate more. What do you need? Man, why do I always think they're gonna eat it? Why did I think he was about to freaking Good pull out a saddle and turn into a bear? <laughs> They're all about to on the bed. <laughs> I didn't know he had horses. Wow. Yeah, when he had that on foot thing, that totally went a different direction than where I thought it was going. Just say you got a stable. The Elven Gate. Oh, he's watching them. This forest feels sick. Is there no way around? Not unless we go 200 miles north or twice that distance south. So every time he gets nervous, he just starts clutching at that ring, huh? Oh well, yeah, because it makes you disappear. I would too. Galadriel. Something moves in the shadows, unseen. Beware the necromancer. He is not what he seems. Oh. He saw the eye. Our enemy has returned. Go to the tombs in the mountains. The high fells. So be it. Well, where's the horses going? Back to their owners. He just told them let them go. You're not leaving us. I would not do this unless I had to. He's going to the high fells. You've changed, Bilbo Baggins. Out of mouth. I found something in the goblin tunnels. Found what? My carriage. Oh. That's As it good. starts to rain on him for lying. You need it. I'll be waiting for you at the overlook. Do not enter that mountain without me. Maybe the actor who plays Gandalf's health wasn't that great in the first Hobbit, but he looks a lot healthier in this than he did in the first one, because he looked really rough in the first one. Maybe. I can't believe he's Magneto. <laughs> stay on the path. Do not leave it. If you do, you'll never find it again. Hmm. When Gandalf goes off, you know he's going to come back with a last minute game changer. I love it. You have the bright light that saves everything. Mm -hmm. He's always got a plan. 
Dude, I'm having so much fun with these landscapes and stuff. This is awesome. Mm hmm What's happening? You're moving. The path has disappeared. What's going oh, on? Oh no. We've lost the path. Find it. And now said you can't. I don't remember this place. Oh, that's spider web. Did you see that? Oh no. <gasps> They're becoming like delusional or something, babe. That looks like that one that wrapped up Frodo. He must not have watched that damn second Spider-Man movie. Oh yeah, he didn't. Andrew Garfield. <sighs> Why are they like delusional? Because inside of that spider's domain, there's something in there that's making his prey like confused. Have a so form of psychosis, like, yeah. Oh, so it can like capture him. Look. Tobacco pouch. There's dwarves in these woods. This is exactly the same as mine. Because it is yours. You understand? We go round in circles. We are lost. We have to find the sun. Good job, Bilbo. Go find the sun. No! What? All of you. They're being watched. Where's that? Vantage point. Let's go. How majestic does that look? I'll be wondering if that was real. Or if you're just like really high. <laughs> I, I can see a lake and a, a river and the lonely mountain. We're almost there. Yeah, literally just keep going straight. <laughs> literally. Can you hear me? I know which way to go. Hello? Hello? Is it that spider? Probably so. It looks like it was all its webs. <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> oh my gosh! Isn't this the girl that um was the thing? No. And it laughed. There's multiple. Oh no! That'd be so scary. Is he about to fight all them spiders? Mm-mm. Mm. That makes my sting crawl. He can understand them now? He can speak, uh, black, black speech, speech, yeah. You better stab. Sting. It's a good name. Oh. Keep the ring on, bro. You're in stealth mode. Yeah, right. I'd have clunked my head if I was in the mood. I'm up here. No. Oh man, look how many. What do you call a group of spiders? Trouble. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh. Is that oh, a baby one? God, I don't know what that is. Oh man, he's only thinking about that ring. Mm hmm. Mine. Dang. And then they went on to found Orkin, the pest control company. <laughs> I always thought that was Gollum music, but it might be the ring music. Yeah, that's, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Definitely, yeah. That's the ring music. That's just the music they cue when the power of the ring is taken over you. Yeah. Which happened to Gollum a lot. Was that my boy Legolas? He just skied, yeah. <gasps> Do not think I won't kill you, dwarf. 
Oh, that's Kate. And the wasp. Oh, nice. And she got a little Arya in her, too. <laughs> you think I'm giving you a weapon, dwarf? You're mistaken. I'm glad to see Legolas, though. Well, and Kate. Give it back. That's private. Who is this? Your brother? That is my wife. What is this horrid creature? His mom. That's my wee lad. Oh. <laughs> Gimli. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Love Little that. do they know. Where did you get this? It was given to me. Not just a thief, but a liar as well. Dang, the elves just capture him like that? Like, come on. I thought they were a little bit more like diplomatic. They're on a mission. You said a new, new cold blood moon rises <laughs> in the West. <laughs> <laughs> that is a Legolas thing to say. He's more talkative in this one. <laughs> He's always got something. Don't search me. I could have anything down my trousers. Or nothing. <laughs> Good try, Ro. <laughs> Dang, from his perspective, that's a big girl. <laughs> I mean, she likes the Ant Man, so. Legolas is jealous? There's no way out! This is no Ark dungeon! Some may imagine that a noble quest is at hand. A quest to reclaim a homeland and slay a dragon. You have found a way in. You seek that which would bestow upon you the right to rule. The king's jewel, the Arkenstone. There are gems in the mountain that I too desire. I offer you my help. Don't trust him. Why not? They just kidnapped him. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> I will let you go if you but return what is mine. Yeah, I'll get you Starlight, no problem. <laughs> Starlight, Star Bright. You have my word. One king to another. We call him a king. I would not trust. Thranduil. You lack all honor. We came to you once, starving, homeless, seeking your help. And you turned your back. But do not talk to me of dragon fire. I know it's wrath and ruin. Oh. I have faced the great serpents of the north. Oh. I warned your grandfather of what his greed would summon, but he would not listen. Stay here, if you will, and rot. A hundred years is a mere blink in the life of an elf. I don't know about that guy. I know. He, he was a lot nicer in the first one. We offer you a deal. He did. I told him he could go ish kakve on dog nul. Him and all his kin. That's that, then. That's that. A deal was our only hope. <laughs> Not our only hope. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Invisible Bill in here. <laughs> I know you're there. Oh, oh <laughs> or not. I was coming to report to you. Oh, my, like, my dumb ass would have took the ring off. I would have been like, sorry, my bad. <laughs> I would have shot the mess out of that dude. But more spiders keep coming up from the south. <laughs> keep our lands clear of those foul creatures. That is your task. And when we drive them off, what then? Will they not spread to other lands? Other lands are not my concern. Legolas said you fought well today. He has grown very fond of you. Legolas thinks of me as no more than a captain in the guard. Perhaps he did once. Now he wants to pay you child support. That's Legolas' dad? Still, he cares about you. Do not give him hope where there is none. Freckles is always with the main character. Whoa. <laughs> the stone in your hand. What is it? It is a talisman. A powerful spell lies upon it. If any but a dwarf reads the runes on this stone, it will be forever cursed. Or not. Depending on whether you believe in that kind of thing, it's just a token. I don't want to read it. My mother gave it to me. Me so remember my promise that I would come back to her. She thinks I'm reckless. Sounds like quite a party you're having up there. All light is sacred to the Eldar. I always thought it is a cold light. It is memory, precious and pure, like your promise. I have like a real Michael Schofield and Sarah moment, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I have seen the world fall away. I saw fire moon once. Red and gold it was, it filled the sky. We took the green way south, keeping the mountain to our left. This 
Uh oh. That was Legolas? Yeah. He did some growing up before the Lord of the Ring trilogy. Where can they go? Nice. <laughs> we? We're never going to reach the mountain, are we? Not stuck in here, you know. Yes. They always do that in this movie. They just pop up. When they're like having a down moment. <laughs> Why did y'all start shouting? <laughs> oh, Thorin believed he was going to come and he actually did. He used to not believe in him at all. He said he should have never got out of his bed. <laughs> <laughs> Climb into them. <laughs> Immediately. Yes, sir. It just shows Bilbo the gap in leadership. What do we do now? That'll be so scary. Oh, so they're about to just barrel the boat on out of there. They barreled their way out of there. How's he gonna get out? Oh, the ring? What are you doing? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> He's gonna barrel us. <laughs> Man, now they know where they went. <laughs> well done, Master Baggins. <laughs> Let's go. This is kind of like Donkey Kong. Oh my god. <laughs> Like them log rides. Uh oh. <laughs> well, let's about to start taking shots. Oh, that ain't good. Duck. Y'all can duck in the barrel. They should have got some tops to those barrels. I know. No. Why y'all got a bridge? I mean, a gate. Whoa. Man, they're trapped. Nope. That ain't good. Someone needs to release the gate. Oh my gosh. I mean, I guess a little bit of chaos is a good way to escape. Nice throw. Ooh. Oh no. No. Oh man. What was in his leg at least, though? Oh, good shot. Who's that? There she is. <laughs> Do you think he loved that? I think he absolutely loved that. She was so tall and handsome. She came in. Or pretty. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, <laughs> Gordy! You better jump in. Nice. Oh, oh. Snap the arrow off in his leg. That's so. Uh oh. Uh -uh. That would suck. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is like the coolest fight scene in this whole entire franchise. It's very <laughs> stressful. Right. They're just floating as logs down a river. I would hate that. And they just jump at them. <gasps> They'll just jump in the barrel too. Yeah, the teamwork. Pass it back. Uh oh. <laughs> Look at Bilbo. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I thought it was a true story till this moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, she's barrel rolling. The armor. Oh. <laughs> okay, why are they that good? <laughs> no shot. No shot. <laughs> this man has crazy balance. <laughs> that man was over there standing on one legless. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <gasps> I would be like, does this mean we're still prisoners? <gasps> oh, that was... Torture him so we can figure out something. And then there's Gandalf He's on an epic mission. Is he at the High Fells yet? I wouldn't want to walk there either. Dude, 
They did that on purpose. This stressed me out? Yeah. I'm good. Oh my gosh. You're good at falling though. Whoa. Renegast. Oh, you. I would not have caught you here without good reason. <laughs> Look at his hair. Ew. These are dark spells, Gandalf. Who's buried here? If he had a name, it's long since been lost. Are they talking about the necromancer? Yeah, it seems like it. One of nine. But it cannot be the necromancer. A human sorcerer could not summon such evil. The nine only answer to one master. The enemy has returned. The enemy is preparing for war. That ain't good. <laughs> that ain't good. Mind. Where are you going? To rejoin the others. Gandalf. They are in grave danger. If what you say is true, the world is in grave danger. You want me to cast my friends aside? They're going through it. <laughs> I think we've got the orcs. Make for the shore. That's such a chill spot, though. Oh yeah, you got that arrow situation. There's an orc pack on our tail. We keep moving. To where? To the mountain. We're so close. A lake lies between us and that mountain. We better no take your barrels. <laughs> so then we go. Find his leg quickly. Uh oh. <gasps> You're from Lake Town, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> that barge over there, it wouldn't be available for hire by any chance. What makes you think I would help you? Those boots have seen better days. No doubt you Jeez. have some hungry mouths to feed. How many beers? Boy and two girls. And your wife, I imagine, she's just a beauty. Aye. She was. Uh oh. I would like to know who you are and what you are doing in these lands. We are simple merchants from the Blue Mountains, journeying to see our kin in the Iron Hills. <laughs> we need food, supplies, weapons. I know where these barrels came from. No one enters Lake Town but by leave of the master. All his wealth comes from trade with the Woodland Realm. He would see you in Irons before risking the wrath of King Thranduil. <laughs> I need to remember that name, Thranduil. I'll Thranduil. wager there are ways to enter that town unseen. He's from Beauty and the Beast. He's Gaston. For which we would pay double. <laughs> I didn't see that, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. You were tracking the company of 13 dwarves. No, 13. Not anymore. A young one. The blackhead archer. We stuck him with a mortal shaft. Poisons in his blood. Oh no. You ain't choking on it soon. She elf. You like death? Then let me give it to you. Oh. oh dear. <laughs> oh. I do not care about one dead dwarf. Tell us what you know, and I will set you free. What is Thorin Oakenshield to you? A dwarf runt who never be king. None would dare enter Erebor whilst the dragon lives. You know nothing. Your world will burn. Yeah, you know nothing, like a snow. <laughs> My master serves the one. The flames of war are upon you. <laughs> Why did you do that? You promised to set him free. I freed his wretched head from his miserable shoulders. <laughs> that was there dark. Was the there was nothing more he could tell me. What did he mean by the flames of war? He didn't want him to know. It means they intend to unleash a weapon so great it will destroy all before it. But well, I he hear, knew, like, everything. No one enters this kingdom and no one leaves it. Whatever that guy was on about, I think that he knows and he didn't want his son to know all that information, so he just chopped his head off. It did kind of seem like that. Dang. He can see for miles too. He's looking for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lose the Agnash. <laughs> With some Hobbit. Bonish. Man flesh. They always say man flesh in the show. I see we throw him over the side and be done with it. Uh, He's bar, driving. His name's <laughs> we do not have to like him. We simply have to pay him. Come on now, lads. Good job, Bard. No problem. Are you a little short? Ten coin short. No, man. I have been bled dry by this venture. 
<laughs> what have I seen for my investment? Bless my beard. Oh, that's the mountain. Bless my beard. <laughs> Take all of it. If you value your freedom, you'll do as I say. He's talking to someone. He's pointing right at us. Now they're shaking Oh, jeez. What? He's selling his head. No, he's not. He's not. He's not. Right? I trust him. Oh, he's the dumb fish on him. <laughs> mm, they smell like some toys. <laughs> oh, no. They have to marinate in some fish. <laughs> this city's crazy. I like the music. Is this one not kind of whooping the first one's butt? Yes. It's so much better, isn't it? But you needed the introductory story. Yeah. It's understandable. Anything to declare? Nothing. Them, them barrels full today. <laughs> yeah, them fish biting. <laughs> Not so fast. Unibrow. Babe, I'm eyebrow sensitive. Please don't discuss eyebrows on this They're channel. Eight. Mine are too bushy. I, I like them. I'm just kidding. You're licensed as a bargeman. Not. Oh. <laughs> Fisherman. He looks like Lord Farquaad. These fish are illegal. Empty the barrels over the side. Food is scarce. That's not my problem. When Punch someone. Master, when the rioting starts, will it be your problem then? Stop. You might have their favor now, Bargeman, but it won't last. He's such a teacher's bet. We know where you live. It's a small town, Alfred. Everyone knows where everyone lives. <laughs> hey, that man was just trying to get in the gate. He's got to get harassed like <laughs> on a daily. Pugs. Oh, they're pugs. Oh. Hey, we got some of those. I know. I want to go get mine. Someone's been stirring the pot cellar. It's not my fault. They live in a place that stinks of fish oil and tar. Look at that picture back there. Fool. They're being led on by troublemakers. Then we must find these troublemakers and arrest them. I can't afford to let the rebel band together and start making noises. The next thing you know, they'll start asking questions, forming committees. <laughs> <laughs> there is even talk of an election. An election? <laughs> That's absurd. Who is he trying to take him off so he can go find that guy? Authority? Yeah. Who would dare? Who? Bard. Dang, that's a lot of fish to pick up, though. Follow me. Don't snitch. Please don't. Where have you been? Father, there you are. You yeah. speak of this to anyone. I'll rip your arms off. <laughs> the place they live is so unique, isn't it? It's it's kind of a cool spot. It's something I would like dream about. Why are there dwarves climbing out of our toilet? Mm -hmm. Are they bring us luck? Oh wow, you see that? I thought that was like a sniper yeah. vantage point. The last time we saw such a weapon, the city was on fire. That must be for that dragon. The, mm. the, dragon came. the day that Smaug destroyed Dale. Only a black arrow fired from a wind lance could have pierced the dragon's hide. And few of those arrows were ever made. Oh. Man, you really gotta lead your shot. Mm -hmm. But the aim of men been true that day. Much would have been different. Then you would know that Gideon hit the dragon. He loosened his scale under the left wing. One more shot and he would have killed the beast. You took our money. Where are the weapons? Had the aim of men been true that day, much would have been different. Kind of crazy. Oh, nice. What is this? Pike hook. A crow bill, we call it. Fashioned from a smithy's hammer. Don't He's never seen Avengers. Defense of your life. <laughs> we paid you for weapons. Dang, just take what you can we'll get. What you got? Outside. All iron forged weapons are held there under lock and key. I say we leave now. You're not going anywhere. There are spies watching this house and probably every dock and wharf in the town. You must wait till nightfall. We can't. Oh no. The poison's spreading. Look at that. Don't let them leave. Where's he going? I don't know. He looked at the mountain and ran. <laughs> Ooh, that's a shot. Ariel, you cannot hunt 30 orcs on your own. But I'm not on my own. You knew I would come. <laughs> the king is angry, Talia. For 600 years, my father has protected you. You defied his orders. You betrayed his trust. Dangalonani. With every victory, this evil will grow. Yeah, that's a fact. Are we not part of this world? 
when did we let evil become stronger than us? Baby, you notice she's more tan and her hair is more red because she actually goes outside. Everyone else is hiding inside all the drawers. Mm -hmm. There was a tapestry, an old one. The dwarves, I tell you, full beards, fierce eyes. Prophecy of Durin's folk. Oh no. King beneath the mountain. Are they talking about Thorn? I don't know. Is he the king? There's a king under a mountain somewhere. Yeah. I don't know. As soon as we have the weapons, we make straight for the mountain. Nice. Those got some proper weight behind them. <laughs> Dang, that was noisy. <laughs> You're gonna need some more barrels. Oh, they stabbed him. What is the meaning? Enemies of the state, and eh? <laughs> a bunch of you do not know to whom you speak. This is Thorin, son of Thrain. We are the dwarves of Erebor. No way. Everyone's getting excited to reclaim our homeland. I remember this town in the great days of old. This was no forsaken town on a lake. This was the center of all trade in the north. We were thriving. All these displaced workers are like, yeah. <laughs> the and wealth and riches flowing once more from the halls of Erebor. <laughs> that is what you will bring upon us. Dragon fire and ruin. But we are friends. If you waken that beast, it will destroy us all. But I promise you this. If we succeed, all will share in the wealth of the mountain. I said, yes, we won the lottery. You will have enough gold to rebuild Eskaroth ten times over. He just showed up. Have you forgotten those who died in the firestorm? And for what purpose? The blind ambition of a mountain king. So riven by greed, he could not see beyond his own desire. Let us not forget that it was Gideon, Lord of Dale, your ancestor, who failed to kill the beast. Oh, he missed the shot. Dang. But he tried to say he did hit it and not the scale loose. Mm -hmm. Will you share in the great wealth of our people? Well, when you put it that way, <laughs> it's a win-win, ain't it? I say unto you, welcome! <laughs> but you know, everyone's celebrating it and everyone's so happy, but he's so concerned, it makes me think maybe he's right. I know. <laughs> oh no. I'm going to be there when that door is open. Stay here, rest. Join us when you heal. I will carry him if I must. One day you will be king and you will understand. I cannot risk the fate of this quest for the sake of one dwarf. Not even my own kin. Dang. How could I not have loved Thorn though, in the beginning? I belong with my brother. They had a snake look looking instrument. <laughs> look at it. By my beard, is that the time? Oh. Oh. No. Oh. Jump on. Your calves are gonna be on fire after that one. Mm -hmm. What is this place? It was once the city of Dale. Now it is a ruin. The one that guy was stressed about. Desolation of smoke. Gandalf said to meet him here on no account. Will we do you do? see him? We have no time to wait upon the wizard. We're on our own. Man, he gave up on him fast. He said, did you see him? <laughs> <laughs> There's right a gas in it. Let's go. Or is that Gandalf? Maybe it's both. A spell of concealment lies over this place. Oh, so it's really thriving there. Maybe. He has not regained his full strength. Radagast, I need you to carry a message to the Lady Galadriel. Tell her we must force his hand. What do you mean? I'm going in alone. On no account, come after me. What if it's a trap? Turn around and do not come back. It's undoubtedly a trap. Ooh, he said I'm just tough with the sword. I forgot. Kenauko sees no time now. He hit it with like the eco scanner. And nothing happened. They said yes. That looks right. That'd be kind of fun to climb though. Yeah, for like two flights of it. Who doubted us? Rue this day! <laughs> Where's that door? The last light of Durin's day will shine upon the keyhole. Dang. Good timing, you guys. 
We're losing the light. What is Bilbo gonna figure it out? Break it down! Jeez. Not gonna work. They're stressing me out. It's like on Fortnite when you're trying to break into the base, but you can't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause it's that part. Mm -hmm. Powerful magic on it. The last piece. No. What did we miss? We've lost the light. There's no more to be done. Come away, lads. It's over. Well, Bilbo's getting ideas. Where are they going? Like when Gandalf had to read Elvish to get into the. You can't give up now. What was it called? Like the Cave of Moria or something in the first one? Don't give up. Still kind of bright out there, is it not? Stand by the gray stone. The last light. Yeah, because I was going to say the moon, because isn't the moon just reflecting sunlight? But I didn't want to sound too stupid. No. <laughs> oh, is that bird going to show you? Man, y'all gave up quick. Dude, you gotta do it yourself. Of the moon, the last moon of autumn. Where's the key? Where's the? Yeah, where'd he go? Mm. I'm stressed. Oh <gasps> no! Oh. oh, nice. I'm glad it's someone we know. I feel like y'all gotta be a little faster, right? Or no? Um, the moon's gonna be there in a minute, isn't it? A dwarf is precisely on time. Right when he means to be. I've never enjoyed someone turning a key so much. Oh, wow. I thought the whole thing was going to come open. This has got to be an emotional moment for them. Mm hmm. I know these walls. Aww. Herein lies the seventh kingdom of Durin's folk, the throne of the king. And what's that above it? The Arkenstone. And what's that? That, Master Burglar. It's why you're here. It's why you are here. Let's go. <laughs> you thought they were just your friends. Mm hmm. You want me to find a jewel? A large white jewel. Yes. Th that's it? Only I imagine there's quite a few down there. There is only one Arkenstone. You'll know it when you see it. <laughs> you needn't go if you don't want to. There's no dishonor in turning back. No, Barlin. There actually I is. I would <laughs> do this. It never ceases to amaze me. What's that? The courage of hobbits. Oh. If there is, in fact, a um, live dragon down there, <laughs> don't waken it. His feet are already so loud. <laughs> like, if, in fact, if, in fact, there's definitely. <laughs> Gandalf time. Show him what's up, Gandalf. What'd you tell the, what'd you tell Frodo when he said that? What is he about to do? Where'd he go? Zap. I ain't never seen that one before. Oh, man. So this is the necromancer right here, huh? Yeah, I was about to say, that's yeah, the yeah, necro yeah. right there. It looks like the smoke monster off the wall, don't it? Mm -hmm. It's a man in it. And it's same as thing as, um, one staff. Not one, sorry. Is it both staff? <laughs> no way. Bro, who does that look like to you? Uh, that's Sauron. Uh, that's Sauron, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, so this is like, it, this really is set This is up. origin okay. story. <laughs> Kinda, I wanna know how he became the necromonster. Monster. <laughs> or necromancer, whatever you wanna call it. He is a necromonster though. I, th I think it said necromonster. <clears throat> I'm rich, I'm rich. It's a lot of gold. It's more gold than the Lannisters right there. He said Bilbo will always pay his debts. That looks painful though. I'm not even gonna lie. How's he supposed to find the Arkenstone in there? A metal detector. Bro, there's no shot. He's not waking that dragon up. <laughs> he saw those little gems he was just creeping through. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it, bro. He said you'll know, and you didn't know. Oh, 
I'm nervous. That dragon's about to pop out. Oh man. <gasps> oh. Just a little eyeball. Oh, you better get under that gold. Oh, it's huge. <laughs> nah. What's that? His tail or something over there? It's like those coin machines where you try to put coins in and more coins fall. It's like all happening like that right now. Oh, you better just be patient. He seems to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it woke up. He needs that cloak of invincibility or invisibility. <laughs> and the one of invincibility. <laughs> yeah, both. That double sided cloak. Yeah, you better put it on. That would still be so scary, even if you were invisible. Does it really see him? I just can't believe he talks. I know that's what that's my biggest fear in Game of Thrones, but I like it here. I'll take it here. Step into the light. This is reminding me of Dragon Tales. <laughs> Dragon Tales. Something you carry. Something made of gold. Oh, he wants to more lay on far, it. More <gasps> he used the term. The term. Oh, Sauron just came, and so he had to take the ring off because Sauron just saw him. I did not come to steal from you. Oh, Smaug, the unnecessarily wealthy. To see if you really were as great as the old tales say. This is like in my one. Yeah. From Shiny. And do you know? The tales and songs fall utterly short of your enormity, oh, Smaug. <laughs> Do you think flattery will keep you alive? We don't live near here. <laughs> and where do you come from? We're from the Shire and we ain't got no gold. <gasps> Arkenstone. I come from under the hill. Under the hill. <laughs> Barrel rider. Barrel. Now that is interesting. And what about your little dwarf friends? No, no, no dwarves here. You've got that all wrong. I know the smell and taste of dwarf. They are drawn to treasure like flies to dead flesh. Y'all have no up. idea. Y'all have no idea what he's that dealing with down there. My land was a dragon. An angry dragon. A talkative ah. dragon. It's coming from the mountain. Ah. He's about to have to get that arrow ready. Oh yeah, he could redeem himself. Mm -hmm. There is nowhere to go. Well, it's not himself that he's going to redeem, but his family. Yeah, his kin. The dragon, it's going to kill us. Let's go. Not if I kill it first. The That's king right. under the mountain is dead. I took his throne. My armor is iron. Why are you telling us all your secrets? No blade can pierce me. Once I'm at the top of the tower, I'll set the arrow to the bow. Okay, no, Bard's about to put the team on the back. Y'all just don't even know. Keep it safe. Don't let anyone find it. What if the sun makes the kill shot? There's no shot. You're under arrest. Any charge the master chooses. That's right. Oh, nice. It's crazy how he has to fight his own people just to try to save his own people. Yeah. Because <laughs> he can't really, have, he doesn't have time to explain it all. <laughs> Oh, he's got that way with my Oh, oh. Dude. Oh. The weasel. Bro. Oh, and the master. He's about to club him. What about Bilbo? Give him more time. Time to do what? To be killed? <laughs> You're afraid. Yes, I'm afraid. I fear for you. A sickness lies upon that treasure hoard. A sickness which drove your grandfather mad. I am not my grandfather. A Thor and I know would not hesitate to go in there. I will not risk this quest for the life of one burglar. Bilbo. His name is Bilbo. Yeah, that hurt my feeling right there. He sent you in here 
for the Arkenstone. Oh man, the dragon's ahead of it. Ichi smart. He's chasing the Arkenstone all around the land. <laughs> He's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Oaken Shield's quest will fail. The darkness is coming. It will spread to every corner of the land. This man always gets locked up. The war from Middle Earth. You know, we dang near could have watched these first. If it all ties in, which obviously it does. This is before. You are being used, thief in the shadow. The coward Oaken Shield has weighed the value of your life and found it worth nothing. I will not part with a single toy. Not one piece of it. Oh, oh you're so bad. My teeth are swords. Dragon talks a lot. Claws are spears. Rumor had it. So it is true. The Black Arrow found its mark. What did you say? Oh. Uh, I, I was just saying, your reputation precedes you, oh Smaug. The this is just like Moana. <laughs> To see Oaken Shield suffer. Good idea. Watch it destroy him. Watch it corrupt his heart and drive him mad. I think our little game ends here. No riddle battle, just do it. How do you choose to Look die? <laughs> He's heating up, you see? <laughs> The dungeon dragon. Mm. You need to be escaping, not sleeping. You better hope that dragon comes out and destroys that cell. Well, nah, he don't want all that. Yeah, his kids are there. Yeah, but I was thinking like firebomb, escape. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that pig's like, hey. And that's what he needed to heal Killy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Is that you, da? Girl, get inside. Oh. Who shot? She did. The, the elf is the elf. Right. It was the girl elf. Hey, yeah, there she is. I can't remember her name. It's crazy. Tariel. Tariel. Is that it? Really? Yeah. Nice. Just go get back in bed. But good kill. Yeah, for real. Oh, on on game. <laughs> Dude. They ain't playing in this one. There are others. Come. We are losing him. I'm gonna use some elf magic. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> she low-key likes him, don't she? Either that or she's just really nice. I can't tell. I'm going to save him. Well, let's go. They call it pig's weed, but it's called Athelus. <laughs> They were wrong about him. He went down there and helped. You're alive. Not for much longer. Did you find the Arkenstone? <laughs> the dragon's coming. The Arkenstone. Oh, we have to get out. Oh no. The Arkenstone's like the ring to him. Yeah, I'm catching that, but he's got to do better because I love this character. Ah! Guys. Ah! Oh, he just farted. Dang, the dragon about burned himself, didn't he? Mm -hmm. My boy is hurting right now. Oh, he's falling in love right now. Look, he's laying on some walnuts. He said, oh. 
Oh, you think there's some symbolism that he's laying on those walnuts? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> Who took one? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh no. Oh, they're falling off him. I thought Bilbo snagged one. I was like, that don't make sense. Why is the <laughs> Hobbit the one still in the gold? Because he's a thief, remember? That's the name. You cannot be her. She is far away. In starlight in another world. It was just a dream. Shoot your shot, bro. Do you think she could have loved me? What do you think, babe? I think that Legolas is not gonna like that. Oh no, you guys. That's it then. There's no way out. The last of our kin. We could try to reach the mines. It might last a few days. I will not die like this. Let's go. Clawing for breath. We make for the forges. He'll see us. Sure as death. Not if we split up. We'll never make it. Some of us might lead him to the forges. We kill the dragon. If this is to end in fire, then we will all burn together. Flee! Run for your lives. There is nowhere to hide. Need some strong ribs. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, that's hot to walk on. That's how you really place on the floor is lava right there. Uh, I immediately thought of Ryan. <laughs> Well, I know my boy Legolas lives, so I know we better that's, get be slick in there. That's the positivity of this. We know he lives, because we have to. Let's go. Showdown at Motown. Let's go. <laughs> no, oh. get the bow and arrow. He said, you want to challenge me, eh? Not there. He has some crazy moves. What the heck, man? He gets time to catch his breath. That's so annoying. He looks kind of psycho in this one, doesn't he? These are his younger days. Uh-uh. Follow Baron. Oh, boy! Oh, that rope might should have burned, but okay. This is like Gandalf in the first one. And he fights that thing for like ten days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, good idea. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. That's like the worst position you want to be in. Oh, he's about to shoot up, bro. Nice, nice, nice. He's at least a little medium rare right now, right? At least. Give me some, uh, the junkie be keeping in our, in our fridge. <laughs> When you get a summer, <laughs> aloe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did not look to see you so easily outwitted. How is he gonna talk junk to him? You have grown slow and fat. <laughs> Your dotage, slug. <laughs> Ooh, he ignited the tower. Get those pillows working. Man, how are you about to kill this thing? Can you still make a flash flame? I have long to take a jiffy. A flash flame? We don't have a jiffy. Oh no, it's coming. 
That wizard is pissed. Oh. Come on. Why is he laughing? He's like, huh. Because he's just enjoying his place in history. He's trying to destroy this dragon. <laughs> this is so <No>! scary. <laughs> nice. What are they doing? They're dropping water. Oh, they're cooling them off. Yeah, he didn't like that. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> oh, that's molten gold. You see that? Oh, grenades! Flash ball. He's just taking them to the face straight up, not even here. He's kind of letting them execute their plan perfectly. He's walking right into it. What do you say? He's gotten slow and fat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, they're okay. about to do them like Drogo did. They're about to pour some fire on them. Some gold. Yeah, maybe. Lead him to the gallery of the kings. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 what what is he doing with the will barrel? <laughs> oh, he's brave. He ain't scared of nothing. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. yeah, he had one chance to live right there. Whoa, look at those flags. Ain't that sick? Oh, you better watch your head. You think you could deceive me, Barrel Rider? <laughs> His name is Bilbo. You have come from Lake Town. Bilbo the Barrel Rider. Mm -hmm. Those sniveling cowards with their long bows and black arrows. <laughs> Perhaps it is time I paid them a visit. Oh, no. This isn't their fault. Wait! You cannot go to Lake Town! You care about them, do you? <laughs> Good. Then you can watch them die. But why? He's kind of dumb. He should go ahead and kill Bilbo, because... You witless worm! A worm? <laughs> I am taking back what you stole. I am king. These are dwarf lands. What's the play here? I know. What are they about to do? He's about to. What y'all doing? Whoa. So that thing was just encasing that thing. He's like, oh, that's the best thing ever. What they do? Give him a Grammy? Don't they like a golden Grammy right there? Mm hmm. The Dwarf Award. <laughs> the Team Dwarf Award. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a Trojan horse. How did they just get it to melt like that? Maybe his present. Oh, I see. They just had it encased and they heated it up. Just wow. like on Game of Thrones, man, like Drogo did. Oh, no shot. I will show you nah, he evolved. He evolved, man. Oh, my goodness. Remember he said he had iron skin? Now he has gold. Oh, he's dead. No, dude. What the heck? That black arrow can't penetrate gold, I bet. Well, did he just shake the gold off? Because the gold's going to dry and he's going to be hard as a rock. Or as hard as gold, actually. Mm -hmm. I am fire. I am said I'm fire. Mm -hmm. Death. Yeah, he shook the gold off, man. I thought he was going to be golden dragon. What have we done? All right. I mean, shoot, guys. What do I even say? At the end of the day, Thorin's still the goat. Uh, you, Bilbo's character, the first time I watched this movie, I didn't really love his character too much. I was like, who's this dude playing Bilbo? Don't know if I like it. Mm -hmm. He's really, really grown on to me, yeah. though. Like, I really like this guy's character a lot. Yeah, very, He's so clutch. Very rarely do I find myself really going from disliking someone a lot to liking them as much. And I also thought Thorne was like a bad guy in the beginning, so I was completely wrong on this movie. That one, guys, that one was better. That one was, that one was 30 times better to me. That one was good. That one had so many... So many scenes in it that were just amazing. They had so much, just the choice of like the shots in this yeah. one I felt was 
unbelievable Costumes, guys everything was great legolas coming back was great it was cool to have tariel aka kate yeah that was sick i, I really like that girl as an actress because she just happens to be in a lot of and stuff like everything like. we watch so and i didn't i didn't know anything about her i thought she was a one-off character in lost because i saw lost and i thought i'd never <laughs> yeah. see her again and it but turns she's out she's like a hollywood mega star and i didn't even know that yeah so dude she just keeps popping up which is crazy mm-hmm Damn, I really like that. I like that one a lot more than the first one. I'm really invested into the story now. I thought they were finally going to take their home back, get rid of the dragon, and I thought maybe the third movie would be something completely different, maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, but looks well, like the dragon's going to be part of the third one, which right. I'm for it, because yeah. I had a lot of fun watching it. The last part of that movie flew by. I know something that you personally are probably not crazy about. The dragon tail action going on. Oh, the talking? Yeah. Well, I mean, this one's like kind of funny. You just made a big deal about Game of Thrones about yeah, the but, dragons don't talk. But in Game of Thrones, I feel like it's a different setting. If if, if right, they yeah. talked in Game of Thrones, I'd be annoyed. They but. really missed the boat. They should have just left my boy Golden. Like yeah, you know what I'm he should have really been should've. Golden. I thought he was like a Charizard type. Oh, like a Golden Charizard. Yeah, or like them Dolan Dragon Rocket League <laughs> Gold Explosions. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, I really like that one, guys. And obviously, the big shock of this movie is the Necromancer. Apparently, is just the pre evolution form of Sauron. Yeah. Which I really love the full circle idea yeah. that like we're just um because like one, Gandalf's finding out about it right that's what he's right, doing yeah. yeah okay I knew this one would obviously lead into the next one just due to like chronological order but I didn't know if the stories were exactly relevant but it seems like they are like mm-hmm. this is showing how Sauron really comes into power I wish I knew more about the Necromancer guys let me know what's the origin of the Necromancer what does it mean what does Necromancer mean in real life let me know like what the definition of the word is someone uh, told us last time it was like something with. It was like a male sor- sorcerer or something. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah, or something like a male wizard. But why did he look like smoke? Is that just um, the director just using you know how the you know what I'm saying? Is that just how they wrote it, or does that have some like merit and lore to it? You know right. what I'm saying? Let us know. So, guys, I really enjoyed that one. I can say I'm significantly looking forward to the next film. Uh, we're yeah, gonna get too. this one out so much faster than the last one, hundred percent. We'll we'll knock this one out very soon. Uh, in the next day or two, we'll watch it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I loved it, man. There it was, was some weird. Time. There was some, and even looking back, man, and <clears throat> I've seen the movie twice at this point. I, I really liked the first movie, but it still had had its moments of like dullness and just like awkward little moments. Mm-hmm. Like, and I've seen this scene with Gollum multiple times at this point. Mm-hmm. I still don't love it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But I do love the movie. But I t- I didn't have a bad damn thing to say about this no, one. This, this one was good. good. This I even was, liked the barrel writing. That was fun. That was my favorite part. <laughs> yeah, that was like fun. barrel rider. Like. Uh, yeah. The first time we watched Lord of the Rings, so many people were when Gandalf or not Gandalf, but when um, Bilbo would pop up and they would talk to him, you guys would probably be like barrel rider in your head. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And that's just something that like never would have crossed my mind. I love so. the callback to Gimli when he was when Legolas son, was talking about how yeah. ugly he was. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That was good. It's weird seeing Legolas in like a different role. Like yeah. A, like a jealous protector role. Yeah. Maybe. Because <laughs> you. Honestly, if you think back at it, he's pretty chill. Like, he's a pretty chill guy. Well, maybe at that time, in the timeline of this universe, he actually had time to be in his head. Moving forward, man, the stakes get a lot higher, so maybe he puts all that below him, which, you know. But he still poked fun at Gimli in that in those, and it was fun. I, I wonder that. what's going to happen to Kate's character, because she's not in the Lord of the Rings, so I'm hoping she doesn't pass away in the next one. Me too. You know what I'm saying? Like, all these characters, I'm thinking, like, they're going to meet their fate somehow. It's going to be sad when we Yeah, when we up. don't see them in the second one. Yeah, I, 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 I think that, too. Something tells me the end of this franchise is going to be really, like, depressing. Right. <laughs> I, think, I think a lot of people. Maybe it'll do one of those things where, like, it shows time pass. and. Well, it's called Battle of the Five Armies, so it feels like it's just going to keep... It's going to continue right after. You know, it'd be beautiful. I just thought about what? And if this is how this franchise ends, guys, I swear on everything I love in this universe. I've never seen these movies. But what if the last scene is like one of the dwarves smiling? He just like smiles and the camera like fades. And then all of a sudden his smiling face like fades into like a statue. As time fades into the future. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. What a beautiful way to end it. I'm calling it here, man. <laughs> uh, like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon, guys. Uh, if you, you know, basically, we just do the whole raw reaction over there. You get a little bit more. We do a whole separate intro over there. We're just a lot more laid back. We're more like, hey, what's up, guys? How y'all been? And I don't know what else to say. This movie was really good. I'm looking forward to the third one. Yeah, I can't uh, wait. Just real quick, on a scale from 1 to 10, what do you give this movie? Probably like an 8. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I would say a 9 because I actually really enjoyed it. But... 
eight to nine will be really good. I really like the character of Thor. Let me just say that before I get yeah, out. I in the too. first I movie, like I thought he was like a bad guy. I think it was because like the eyeliner and the Undertaker vibe that he was giving off. Mm -hmm. and well, and he didn't really like Bilbo at first. And, you know, immediately we just side with Bilbo because we love Frodo and all them so much. Right. We'll see immediately. I didn't like Bilbo. So I was kind of I love like, Bilbo still. I was kind of like, I just hope these two dudes just have it out and leave me out of it. But at this point, man, I'm a big fan, part of the family over here. But I really like his character, man. They're they're trying really hard to let him live up to what Aragorn was, because mm. Aragorn was just such a like, just a strong like, great character. So they're doing their best. Yeah, to make this I mean, guy, they're not Aragorn. doing they're not doing a bad job. But Aragorn's Aragorn. Like that's all I have to say about that. But this Aragorn guy, is Aragorn. This guy at the end of the day has his own thing here too. Though. Yeah, he does have a little something going on. Yeah, hundred percent. All right, guys, hit us up on the next video for sure. We'll get it out soon. We'll see you on the next one.